Edel. Got 40 days to Yom Kippur. And I'm here to tell you that the first 30 are profoundly underappreciated. There's a whole story that we're going to tell at some point about how we get in these 40 days from Rosh Chodesh Elul to Yom Kippur and what that can teach us about what tshuva, about our repentance and our return to self really might be. But right now I'm focused on the field. Hamelech Basadeh, the king is in the field. It's El. And feel that freshness. I don't know about you, but the moisture in the air, a little bit of touch of cool in the morning is telling me that there are possibilities of which I had not yet dreamed. And that's what I'm speaking about in this field. It's not just a place you go to meet. It's not just the king outside the palace where there's an availability of intimacy which would otherwise be impossible. It's that field of possibilities. A true range, not just in spirituality, but in physics, that gives you the power to define what lies ahead. Now, I don't want to scare anybody, but I want to talk a little bit about the collapse of the wave function. It's a very important notion which comes to us from quantum physics. Basically, light is either a particle or a wave. I'm a particle, I'm a wave, I'm a particle. I'm so confused, right? Well, in that, what makes it transition between that particle and wave form is actually observation. Light exists as such so long as it's not observed. But once it's observed, we have what's known as the collapse of the wave function. It has to be one or the other. It can't be both, right? And this led one of the most important theoretical quantum physicists, Schrodinger, to try a thought experiment on his cat. Don't worry, no animals were actually harmed. But what Schrodinger did in his mind was place the cat in a box with a highly sophisticated quantum switch. And according to that switch, either poison came out and killed the cat, or it did not. Now here's the catch. According to Newtonian classical physics, the cat is either alive or dead. The switch has either flipped or not. It's in the box, or it's back. But what Schrodinger said is so long as the cat remains unobserved, and the question of whether the switch was flipped depends upon a quantum process, well, that collapse of the wave function hasn't yet happened, which means the cat is neither alive nor dead, but approaching a meta state of potentiality. You know what kills that cat? When you open the box or you save it. That's the collapse of the wave function. It's the power of observation of consciousness to define reality. And that's not just a question. For theoretical physics, that's why we're in the field and the king is there to meet us. Who's the king if not the one who defines the context? for reality. And so, in these 30 days of Elo, I want you to appreciate the fact that you can make a choice that will actually change not just your life, but the fabric of reality itself. And a tool you have to do so is what's known as a Kabbalah. Now is the time to accept upon yourself a commitment to being someone who you are not yet. You know, we say God's going to sit in judgment on Rosh Hashanah and decide with the books of life open whether I'm a Rasha or a tzaddik, the wicked or the righteous. But the question is, how do you see yourself? And how are you going to prove yourself over the next 40 days who you actually are? Now's the time to take the moment in hand, to use your consciousness to collapse the wave function of your life into the form you want to see. Take upon yourself and commit in the next 30 days, and I promise you, life will not seem the same. Hello!